chicken cake. <laughs> Alarming morning for me. Oh, no. uh, we're going to start with Melvin. Uh -oh. uh, I I remember the typewriter. <laughs> you remember when I was first hired for my first job? I had to take a typing test. <laughs> so that was my first alarming moment this morning. My second was Adrian. Adrian. I may be pregnant. <laughs> months, years, whatever. So the conclusion of your speech you want to assess as you progress into Toastmasters, is it a strong enough message? So you might want to think when you're choosing your topic, how do you want to conclude so that your audience can walk away with something that's really memorable, not only about your speech, but about you as a presenter. It might mean more money, it might be another income stream, so it's really important. And the third is, my voice is natural and sincere when speaking. Now, this has been a revelation. I've been in Toastmasters a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave a speech the other night in a competition. And who was I up against? None other than Kathy. Oh. <laughs> Kathy and I talked a couple of times before we both gave our speeches. And she was so nervous and so worried that she was going up against me. She had no clue how nervous I was <laughs> going up against her. But I have to admit that I felt very confident because it's a great story, true story. But here was an occasion where I tried to harm and can be won. <laughs> I gave a speech and I was too over the top. I was too in the face of my audience. I wasn't natural. I wasn't me. I was trying to throw everyone into this great story and it just was ridiculous. Mio made a video of it. I watched it the other night and I threw it away. <laughs> Yourself. The beauty is that you all are. <laughs> you all are your 
yourself. I have seen, and I'm sure many of our past presidents have seen new people come into Toastmasters terrified, noisy, sick, wanting a restroom nearby just in case. You all have to split that whole thing on its uh, side, upside down, because each of you have presented speeches that are so heartfelt, half us in tears, half us laughing. I don't think you have a fear bone in your bodies. So when you're doing your self-assessment, be really kind to yourselves. Don't be too hard on yourselves, because each of you have done what 95% of the people on the face of this earth would rather die <laughs> than stand up here and give a speech. So tremendous kudos to each and every one of you guys. It has been the most wonderful experience that Kathy and happened to have met Aaron and this whole thing took place because I have experienced such emotional swings. <laughs> you all are there. Brilliant. You all are brilliant. And just remember that as you go down this list and give yourself some pats on the back because you are really going to dazzle your future audiences. You're really wonderful. So take your manuals home. Go through the self-evaluation process. There will be things you'll want to improve, odds, ums, that sort of thing. But be kind to yourselves. Madam Toastmaster.